Action Greetings Transformers fans and welcome to another Transformers figure review. I know it's been quite some time. I believe the last one was Breakaway. Uh, hadn't really much time or was focusing more on rusting figures. But no, here is another one and this time it's Transformers Animated Sentinel Prime. The uh, Primer Prime as he once referred to himself. I already opened it package but just so you can see it's a nice picture in a second this camera doesn't have any autofocus so Sentinel Prime with Battle Lands and Shield Arrgh. oh well let's take this here that's Sentinel Mark right here. The figure that is. And here we have Central Prime in his uh, snow plow truck mode, whatever. It's a really, uh, I really like this this vehicle mode here. Very, very accurate to the um, TV series. It's just well, he doesn't, he wasn't carrying his. Happens around so very nice. The back side here. The lights are actually are they translucent plastic? No, they're just I just painted black. It would have made more sense to paint them red. I believe same the front lights here. Just black. The turn lights are yellow. But uh, they've got, I don't know if you can see that right in here, they, they molded some details in there, like the um, Federung. Yeah, that's it, right in there. As for rolling, well, the wheels itself, they, they turn pretty good. However, I have a, if you have a look here, through because of all that bulky stuff, the back wheels have almost no ground clearance, so on a table you're fine, but on, I don't know, some cloth surface it might get stuck in the, the snowplow. It's hindering it too. Snowplow is actually adjustable. Tiny little bit, which makes sense, because you know snowplows usually are like that, plowing the snow from, sorry. Might as well put it a bit more down here. Plowing the snow from the street right off somewhere else. So this is real life action here. Yeah, on the ground you can see his head on the, on the bottom side. Now, S for the transformation. You first grab his cap here, not not the windshield. Try to have it here and or on the side actually, and pull it back like that. And make it sit right over here. And the next thing you are pulling out is arms, um, or let's say the doors. Grab the doors, and well, it might be a bit tricky. Here you go. Just to the side for now. Same thing here. We might want to. Move the motor hover to until you have his arms out, just like that. Then you see these black pieces, they come into this slot, so move them up like that. And um, well, you can see a few two tabs here, and these tabs tab inside. The wheel, you can see it has six holes in there, so you might have to um, rotate the wheel a bit, but you know, they, they don't really snap in, they just sit, sit there, which is a bit unfortunate. And then rotate his arm down like that, and there's basically a rotating plate in here, so you can move the, move the arm forward. And for the other side, the 
he can pull out pull out his legs his body sits right there and uh, we are separate them that's actually all for oops for the uh, legs which they stand he stands for you okay pull out his head or pull his head forward Right there. And separate the snow blow. Move both pieces to the side. I can't really see that. To the side like that. Wait a minute. And move him forward onto his chest. And that's Sentinel Prime. He's a great face. It's a bit shiny here, but you can see the smirk molded on his huge chin, the ridiculous ear pieces. I don't know. Uh, I know he's <coughs> resembling another comic figure, um, the uh, tick or toad. How is it called? I mean, the tick. Don't really know anything about this comic character, but there you go. His vehicle front is a fake one because the real back here but uh, the, I guess I couldn't make it happen transformation wise so it's it's okay in my eyes bulky shoulders huge upper body small lower body uh, very muscular looking and uh, well, let's have a look at his second well you have to position him his legs the, the bottom is a bit Weird, you can't really do anything with that, but you can make him stand. And as for the weapons, he's got a famous shield, if you don't drop it, which was popping out of one of his arms. You can place it into either of his fists, if both both got holes there, like, like that, or to have it more realistic, since it was coming out of his arm blade. <laughs> <laughs> now the camera just dropped, but that's okay. Move it to the side and it looks much better this way. <coughs> and uh, in a few episodes, ju just in a few, he used this lens. So put that in the other arm and um, give me a second. Sentinel Prime in robot mode. She doesn't have really too much kibble on the back, just this part and that's decent. So now to transform him back, get rid of his weapons. <coughs> For the uh, snow pro back and Put the two pieces back together. Make them, they might look like this. You just have to snap it down. Sink his head into here. Okay, put the legs together. Pull out his arms. Down like that for now. It's really weird now. And um, well, play, getting them inside here can be to windshield. You need to be careful, it's very fragile, but it moves a little bit. Getting his arms back in here might be a bit tricky. As I said, there's a plate in here which rotates separately from the wheels, so you have to make use of this plate as well as both of his. Oh, I forgot the articulation. Um, might add that later. Give me a second. He's got two joints on his arm here, so, sorry. You need to move that forward, like that, and you see the little tab here. Tab it in there, that's it. 
same for the other side. You need to straighten out the arms just the other way. Rotate it forward. And uh, once more. Until it's no, you can do plugs in there, and it does. If you have a look right in between here, there are tabs, but again, it's not, I don't know if this is just my figure, they're not sticking together very well. Actually, not, not a bit. His legs, you pull. Like this and move them forward to pull them in here and yeah well move them back side down without separating it. But the legs don't really stick together that great so it's all a bit loose here. Just move it down like that and um, separate the cap again. Move it forward, slide it under the windshield, snap it down on both sides. Just anything that went wrong and voila. That is a vehicle in order again. Storing his weapons is easy. We've got this. Mm -hmm. Shaped, little shaped peg here. There's a hole shaped exactly like that here. So just slide that in. And if you have a close look in, inside that ring here, there's a there you can see it, there's a black tab here too. And on the bottom side of the lens is a well, slot or whatever, so make sure you turn it, turn the lens to the right side before sliding it in here, and um, that's it. Sentinel Prime, one of the more annoying, but yet still really funny characters in Transformers Animated. I forgot to show his articulation earlier, so his head is on a ball joint move slightly up and down and can fully well these pieces from the hinges or whatever from the um oh no if, if you pull them down they are not getting in the way so it works we can make him move his head back also but it's actually that's on a ball joint that's nice shoulders well his arms move in and out have to separate these two Hearts here though. Um, again, there's a plate in here which makes the whole thing, the whole arm, rotate here. But there's another joint right below it for moving your arm. It's a bit tight. Yeah. And he's got an elbow joint, so he bends at the elbow. It's hard to see here. No um, wrist articulation. Nothing on the fists. Got huge arms and fists. Uh, no waist articulation. If you well, you can he can bend backwards, but that doesn't really count. It's part of the transformation process. And the legs they're on a ball joint up here, so you've got all kinds of movement there. His bends at the knee. And um, yeah, that's it. Still pretty nice.